the last night I, uh, I drank and, uh, and, uh, and what happened was I was drinking a whole bunch, I had done some drugs, and I had a big blue drink. I had a bunch of big blue drinks. By the way, nothing good ever happens on the night you have blue drinks. <laughs> you never hear somebody go, you know what, I had like a 47 ounce shark hurricane shark bite and it was, and I went home and threw a log on the fire and sat in my chair and read Walt Whitman leaves the grass, right? <laughs> It's always like uh, turnover, uh, helicopter, passed out, escaped from ambulance, 14 years, $80,000, $80, lost my toe, so, you know. <laughs> so I, I was drinking all this stuff I'm like an idiot, I drove. Now here's my thing, I always loved drinking and driving because I always felt safe in my car, and since I was ashamed of, of my family and where I grew up, I always felt free on the road, like I could just go anywhere in the world and escape. So I remember this one night, I was driving, and I'm like, yeah, just feeling good, and my blood alcohol was rocketing up, right? And I, this was in Southern Cal, and I was on some hills, and I was coming down a hill, and I remember, right, uh, I made a right turn, and as I started into the right turn, my right rear tire hit the curb and flew off, and my car started to spin. The first thing I thought was, hey, I'll be needing that. <laughs> I see a car about 12 feet away and I'm like, hello ladies. <laughs> I'm still trying to look, bam, I hit the center divider and I accepted my death. I'm 22 years old and I'm gonna die. And that was that moment where I went, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but if you let me live, it's gotta be something else. And I'm so done with this and I'm broken and I'm hurt. And it's that moment that those of you that have motives of clarity know what I'm talking about, where that bubble surrounded you and you knew you'd be okay. And I bounced off the wall my head hit the steering wheel, my face exploded, I was bleeding, but I was wearing a seatbelt, and there was no reason, because I never wore seatbelts, but I wore one that night. I opened my seatbelt, I fell off into the gutter, and I remember this, Southern Cal. This nice, good Samaritan shows up with uh, patent leather boots and a giant flashlight, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he said, would you like to ride in the police car or the ambulance? And I thought, wow, a good Samaritan has a police car and an ambulance. <laughs> This was my alcoholic thought. I will get in the ambulance because I can escape. <laughs> Luckily I didn't. And by the way, I've seen it on cops. It's hilarious. <laughs> Guy bursts through the back door, runs in the trees, helicopter shows up, dog bites his balls, end of story. Right? <laughs> and that was my last night of drinking and driving, and that was my last night of drinking and using drugs, and that was June 24th of 1984.